Today I will be sharing two quick and easy retouch per panel editing ideas that you can try to your photos. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm only showing you how I use the panel. You do not necessarily have to do everything step by step. Feel free to establish your own editing workflow in the most comfortable and convenient way possible. As with any other Photoshop panels, these are merely tools to help you transform your images into works of art. Remember, it's not the tool that makes the art, it's the artist. So just keep practicing until you get it right. If you're interested in getting this amazing panel, use my coupon code at checkout to get 5% discount. Link is on the video description. Alright, so let's begin with this image right here. First things first, duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then select the Spot Healing Brush tool and remove the distracting blemishes and dark spots. Okay, now we open up the Retouch Pro panel and click on Frequency Separation. Then we expand the layer right here. Click the eye icon beside the high layer to hide it. Then click on the low layer. Then we go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. Then we move the radius and threshold sliders to a point that the skin colors blend well, and you can see the edges of the eyebrows, eyes, and lips. Then we unhide the high layer, select it, click the clone stamp tool, make sure that the mode is set to normal, opacity and flow both at 100%, and the sample is current layer. Then hold the Alt key to take a skin sample. Then paint on the spot that you want to remove. We need to do this a couple of times until we are satisfied that we have removed all the obvious blemishes. Again, hold Alt, take a sample, then brush over the dark spot. I will go ahead and fast forward this step. Alright, I think I'm done. This is without frequency separation, with frequency separation. Now obviously, the effect is too much, so let's decrease the opacity to 60%. Now it looks much better. Let's zoom in. Before, after. What do you think? Is the skin smoothing too much? Let me know down in the comment section. Now let's open the Retouch Pro panel again, go to the Eyes section, and click on Iris. Then click on the white brush down here, and we start painting on the iris. This will brighten up the iris and add a little bit of contrast and sharpness. This is the before, this is after. Let's zoom out so we can see it better. Before, after. I think it's too much, so let's decrease the opacity to 50%. Okay, this is fine. Let's go back to the eye section in Retouch Pro Panel, and this time, select Whiten. Then we paint on the white area of the eyes to, you guessed it, whiten it. Now let's decrease the opacity to 80%. Before, after. Now her eyes look livelier. Now let's select both these layers and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. This is without the eye enhancements. With the eye enhancements. Let's zoom in. Before. After. It looks way better, right? Let's go ahead and rename this group layer to eyes. Now back to the Retouch Pro panel. Go to the Lips and Teeth section, and click on White Teeth. And with the white brush selected, we start painting on the teeth, like so. Before, after. Before, after. I think this is too much, so let's decrease the opacity to 80%. Okay. Now I'm liking this. Let's open the panel again, go to the Effects tab, select Overlays, 
Then click on Sun 3. Then we move the sun to the top right where the source of light is coming from. This is without the sun overlay, with the sun overlay. I think the light is too harsh, so let's decrease the opacity to 80%. Okay, I think we're done here. Now this image appears to be soft and faded. So let's add a final touch to this image by going to the Finish tab and click on Final Contrast. This is the before. This is after. I think it has applied too much contrast, so let's decrease the opacity to 70%. Before. After. Okay, this is perfect. And for the last and final step, let's go to the Finish tab again and click on Save Photo. And since we're uploading this for social media, we can select for web option. Then we go here to the image size and change the width to 2048. This is the recommended size when uploading in Facebook. Then click save and assign a name to it. That's it! This is one workflow that you can try when using the Retouch Pro panel. I know my edit is nowhere near perfect, but that's not the point here. I have just demonstrated some essential functions in Retouch Pro that you may use when you do your own edits. Alright, now we can proceed with the second workflow. We'll use a similar image right here. Again, It's looking good. Now we go back to the eye section again and click Whiten. Again, we do the same steps we did on the first example. In my own edits, I always make sure to enhance the eyes because it draws attention to the viewer. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now let's group these two layers together and then under the eyes section, click on final touch.
suggestions, or you just want to say hi, just leave a comment down below and let's chat. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.